Oh, sorry. Is my mic showing? This is the Mod Mic Wireless, and why was it stuck on a headset that already has a mic? I'll get into that. The gaming industry has made some really good improvements over the years in terms of audio. Like we're seeing a lot less of those extreme bass headsets. But even with headsets costing upwards of $300, the mics still suck, especially when you're talking about a wireless gaming headset. Airline reached out to me to try out the Mod Mic Wireless. Now, no money exchange hands and they're not gonna see this video before it goes live. But I wanna see if compared to one of the most popular gaming headsets on the market, if a standalone USB mic like this makes a vast difference. Should be fun. Now the first thing we need to know is that this did come out in 2018, so there is a micro USB port, but even since 2018, headset prices continue to go up while the mic quality remains dog Now obviously this is a fully wireless mic, it has a cardioid and omnidirectional pickup pattern, 12 plus hour battery life, and in my testing I'm finding it to be about 14 hours, which is absolutely nuts and works on every platform excluding xbox now this is going to be a totally blind audio test using the built-in mic on the steel series artist threes and the mod mic wireless now the reason why i chose this headset is because this is like a very mediocre mic and honestly it sounds pretty much like most headset mics out there so i want to see if this 130 dollar mod mic wireless is a massive improvement over this mic right here now for this test, I'm going to be switching back and forth between the two different mics, and I'll have a label of which one is which. And uh, just so you know, this is ran directly in the OBS. There's no filters, no post-processing or anything like that happening. This is just the pure raw audio of what both of these mics sound like. Obviously, the most important part of any mic is the sound quality. So for the rest of this review, you're going to be hearing the Mod Mic Wireless. Now, two things that don't affect the performance of the mic, but are just really nice features, are the USB dongle and the case. Starting with the dongle, and on this part, they just absolutely nailed it. First, including a three foot long extension cable. Now the mic and the dongle both have three indicator lights. As you can see right here, this one's showing blue, but if you're like me, your eyes can't see the side of your head. So that's where that dongle extension cable comes in. Now the three lights are blue to show its connection status, red to show when it's muted, and amber to show whenever it's low on battery. Now I know that's a really small touch, but it's little tiny things like that that honestly just make a very big difference. Then we have to talk about this case right here. Now it's nothing crazy, but it's just like, kind of like a little hard shell case, kind of rubberized on the outside a bit. Uh, really high quality, and if you don't want to put the mic in it, you at least got a nice case where you can carry other accessories. Now of course there are loads of other alternatives to get good mic quality. I have the GoXLR Mini paired with an Audio-Technica AT2020 and don't forget that super cheap boom arm and XLR cable. So altogether, this setup is going to run you about $370. So coming in around $130 to $140, this is a dang good mic and honestly pretty much better than just about any USB mic out there. Not to mention the fact that it's fully wireless while still providing the stellar audio that Antline is known for. Also, I just noticed I kept rotating this in my hand, so if uh, parts of this video sound like crap, I am sorry. Let's fix that real quick. I'm going to switch it over to the omnidirectional, so that way I can twist to my heart's desire. Now, when I'm trying to think of who this mic is for, honestly, I would say this is definitely for casual gamers, but then even for people that are trying to build their first streaming setup. Now, thankfully, through OBS, there's like a plethora of filters you can apply to this mic, and the fact that it's doing a 16-bit signal gives you loads of flexibility to EQ it. Then, once again, it's a wireless mic that sounds really good. Like, you're not compromising any audio quality and you still have the flexibility to move around go like leave your desk do whatever you want now of course i do have a few nitpicks first if you're trying to apply this to a headset that has more rounded ear cups it does not want to adhere to originally i tried sticking this on my razor black shark v2s and because of the rounded ear cups it couldn't get enough surface area to actually grip and kept falling off second i found that they unpair from the dongle really easily so you hold this little button right here for three seconds and i'll turn them off but if you hold it for five seconds it unpairs it from the dongle now thankfully you can pair it again really easily, it's just kind of an annoyance, I wish they would have made like a greater gap in time, maybe 6 seconds or 7 seconds to actually unpair it. Third, which this might come down the road, I just feel like it's a bit of a bulky design, like it's not too bad when I'm holding it like this, but when you put it on a headset and you're looking at it, it just looks a little bulky. It's definitely not too bad if you have it on like a some audiophile headphones or something like that, something that doesn't have a mic built in. But gamer headsets are already pretty bulky as is, so then you slap this on the side and it looks a little overkill. So all in all, this is a killer product, and the biggest thing I would have to say is I'm just sad it took me this long to finally try one out. For me, I don't like having my desk cluttered up with a bunch of crap, like a microphone, the boom arm, XLR cable, the interface, minus my headphone amp, but I gotta have that. So this is like the perfect solution. Now if you're not sure about the wireless side of it, they do have two wired versions that can work with any headset out there. I'll have links for those down below if you wanna check those out, as well as the wireless. And one more thing 
thing, make sure you're subbed because I have a review coming up of two new products the Endline's coming out with. But until then, thanks for watching and happy gaming.